Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Ohio Pain Network. Today's topic is what you need to know about facet injections. Facet joints are small thumbnail sized joints on either side of the spine at every level from the neck all the way down to the sacrum. They do have cartilage, just like the hip and the knee, uh, and they are prone to breakdown, just like um, these other joints. Together, these facet joints, there's over 30 of them, they allow for an incredible range of motion that we enjoy in our spines. Facet joints, uh, even though they're very small, they can become very painful due to arthritis. Um, usually a p patient will develop pain in the vicinity of the arthritic joint, but it also can radiate out, up or down. Um, and usually there's several arthritic joints at the same time. You can see what these arthritic joints look like here and here. And actually in this one, they've indicated that these nerve roots above and down here are getting inflamed um, because of the uh, compression or inflammation in this area. Here's a close-up picture. So this is looking at um, the spine from an angle. These are the bony protuberances, the spinous processes you can feel in your back. Okay, these are the joints. This joint looks great. Okay, no extra bone formation, no inflammation. This one, you see these extra bony overgrowth there. Okay, overgrowth of the joint. Um, and that can end up leading to inflammation of these nerve roots in the vicinity. And then once again, it looks great down here. Why are facet injections performed? Well, for symptomatic facet arthritis, there really is not a great surgical answer. There are some excellent non-operative options. Facet injections are one of them for back or neck pain. Similar to other joints, facet joints do respond well to steroid injections. Uh, this is an outpatient procedure, only takes about 10-20 minutes. Modern pain doctors will use fluoroscopy, which is called uh, image guidance, which gives kind of a real-time x-ray and shows where the needle is going exactly. Usually you don't need IV sedation, okay? You just numb up, the doctor will numb up the skin and the soft tissues down to the area. Uh, the needle will go into the joint. A little bit of dye is put in to make sure that the needle is accurately placed. And then the steroid and numbing medicine will be put in. Several levels can be treated at the same time. So if you have this arthritic joint, then you can do it here um, at the same time, okay? And the procedure can be repeated every few months. Usually it gives pain relief for a few weeks to a few months. If the pain comes back, there are three treatment options at that point. One is to simply repeat the facet injection, okay? This can give another few months of pain relief. Second would be to perform a medial branch block. This is injection around the joints to block those little sensory nerve endings called medial branches. That gives an average of three months of pain relief. And another is to do what you see here, which is a radio frequency ablation, which is to apply thermal energy to the area around the joint, deaden those nerve endings, and that can give pain relief for up to two years consistently. Okay, so once again, the facet or medial branch block averages three months. The radio frequency ablation goes usually six to 18 months, but it can be up to two years. Are there risks? These are very, very low risk injections. There's a very slight risk of infection, bleeding, or allergic reaction. The needle does not go into the epidural space, so there really isn't um, a chance for a nerve root or spinal cord injury. The top non-operative pain management in Ohio is through the Ohio Pain Network. There are several clinics throughout the state accepting over 50 insurances and providing over 25 treatment options with the board certified physicians. Uh, visit us online today at ohiopainnetwork.com and then call us for more information and scheduling at 888-466-9898. Once again, 888-466-9898. I'm Dr. David Green with the Ohio Pain Network. Your pain stops here.